All right, Rings of Power first thoughts are, eh, it was all right. It's kind of how I feel after every episode. It was just okay. My favorite part of the whole Galadriel slash Numenor story was when Galadriel was in jail. So, I don't know, I'll come back to that later. All right, so what else was going on? All right, the stuff with Arondir and the Southlands. You know, I kind of like that, this episode. Um, yeah, I, I like the... The, the name drop of Orodruin, which is the elvish name for Mount Doom, kind of confirming that what we all know is that the Southlands is Mordor, will turn into Mordor. I thought that was good. Um, what else? Oh, yeah. Uh, Theo going a little side quest. Um, you know, I don't really mind that too much. I hope the show doesn't turn into like The Walking Dead. It was like, oh, we have to go out foraging for food. And, oh, God, we ran into orcs. So now we have to escape, hopefully by the skin of our teeth. Hopefully they don't do that multiple episodes and it just gets repetitive but again i like the mystery going on with whatever that black sword is um you know kind of some folks of the southlands are still kind of aligned with morgoth maybe there's a little mystery there again i i was saying i don't really mind the stuff that's not canon the completely new stuff as long as it's interesting um you know the southlands not too bad uh no harfoots this episode Probably for the back. Got the dogs out. I'll be back in a sec. All right, we're back. So what else happened? Uh, okay, the stuff with Elrond and Durin the Dwarf. Uh, again, I don't really like that storyline all that much. I think the characters are fine. Even the new character, Disa, she's actually pretty good. Again, I'm just not liking the storyline. It's another place where they're just breaking canon completely. Like Mithril, for example. That's That's something that's been known about and been around in the Lord of the Rings universe for a long time. Like, it was around in Valinor, so the elves and the Valar, they used it. So it shouldn't be, like, this new thing to Elrond. Like, what's the point of it being, like, this new jewel? Just so, I don't know, is it all just so that, you know, that the dwarves dig too too deep and too greedily and they unleash the Belrog? Is that the whole point? If so, I don't know, that's kind of silly, in my opinion, but... All right, so back to the Galadriel and Numenor plotline, and we finally got a big reason as to why the men of Numenor do not like the elves. <laughs> and it's because if the elves, if they come to Numenor, they will take our jobs. <laughs> it's incredible, incredible. And I've heard other YouTubers and stuff kind of complain that the metaphors and the allegory, whatever you want to call it, has been a little bit too on the nose, a little bit too contemporary or whatever. And in prior episodes, maybe because I'm too stupid or because I'm not looking for it, I haven't really noticed or cared really. But this this time, it was just like, I don't know. And if, if contemporary messaging in The Lord of the Rings just... Big turn off for me. And finally, Halbrand. I kind of like that character. You know, he's seems to be cunning, has some physical abilities with fighting, and also is a craftsman. So, I don't know, maybe his identity, maybe it's more of a mystery than we think, you know? Looks can be deceiving. All right, so I'm going to keep watching this show. I'm not going to say I'm going to thoroughly enjoy it or anything, but I'm going to keep watching. I just really, I'll just reiterate it again. I just hate how they've condensed the timeline. I just, it seems like the showrunners just think that fans these days are just too stupid. But, you know, you look at a show like Game of Thrones, like they're jumping ahead in time, probably about 40, 50 years of history. They're jumping ahead. And, you know, we can follow along. We're enjoying it. But, you know, like I said, I just figured whoever's watching Lord of the Rings is probably going to be too stupid. So clearly they're not making this for people that are real fans of Tolkien lore, it seems. So I don't know. I don't want to dive too deep into that. But yeah, I'll keep watching. But it's not a show that I would recommend. Really? That I would recommend. Really?